And again, it's just another 25% sustained wall. I mean, that there is like 40%. More cobbles. Dang. Dang. How long does this bit go? We're on a hunt for the hardest climb in the world, the most savagely steep, unrelenting track that you can ride a bike up on planet Earth, and we have a new contender. Behind me here is the Pozza San Gilcente dos Dallasine. I probably didn't pronounce that right. So here is Alan from GCN Italia. Pozza San Glisente dos Dallasino. Oh, beautiful. Oh, you can really hear the music in it, can't you? Anyhow, this 8.6 kilometer bastard is said to be so steep and so terrifying that people say it's even harder than the Scanupia we visited last year. Only one way to find out. Previously on GCN, the Scanupia, seven kilometers long, averaging 18%, with maximum gradients of 45. This climb is so steep, Ollie failed to ride all the way up without unclipping. Andrew Feather took the KOM. However, as mentioned, we may have found another. This is the Glissenti. Uh, the bottom of it, right here, starts by this rather noisy main road and then just comes up as an innocuous little track. We're going to find out just how hard it is, but this climb is so hard that only 16 people have completed it, according to Strava. I'm guessing there were probably others, but, um, well, they, uh, they probably died. On paper, th this climb looks absolutely horrific. So the stats are that it's 9.6 kilometers long, averaging 15%, with a maximum of 40% which isn't quite as high as the maximum of 45 on Scanupia, but it doesn't tell the whole story because this is really narrow and there's a 4.5 kilometer section in the middle, which averages 22%. So that section is likely to take between 35 and 40 minutes. Just put that, just imagine that, 40 minutes at 22%. Let me just think, let that sink in. I mean, to a cyclist, that's even scarier than being chased on Halloween by a T-Rex through a graveyard with rabies. Terrifying. Well, I guess I better get going then and try it for myself. I mean, fortunately, I've got a specially modified bike to help me with the time, except I haven't. I've just got a normal road bike. Let's see what happens. Right, I'm not even gonna beat, there's no point. Right, bye, <laughs> wish me luck. First kilometre, the surface is, well, still pretty good. It's like a road, but it's like 15% average. And you've got these horrible gates, grates that just swallow your front wheel on a road bike. So I'm going to be quite careful, but I'm just trying to conserve energy. Because oh, I know it's going to get tougher. Oh, conserving energy on 15%. The Canyon Ultimate I'm riding is a top of the range road bike fit for the Tour de France. However, there are no climbs in the Tour as tough or as steep as this. It's 25% here on those cobbles. We're two and a half K in. Oh my God, of nearly 10. This surface is so hard. I mean, this is basically cobbles. 25%. It's back breaking. I can get going again on this bit. Oh, my back is on fire. Oh God, this is horrendous. 
I don't know how far we've gone because my Wahoo keeps auto pausing so the distance isn't reading properly, but in terms of ascent, we're a third of the way in. Look at that. So as good as a bike this is, you know, it's 6.8 kilos. It's just, it's just not the bike for the job. I mean, that there is like 40% and I'm just like, just do not have the gears. Like, and then the, the surface is so rough, like you can't weave across the road and use the gradient, take the sting out. You, you have to just stick in a narrow lane and like, it's so rough. I mean, this looks like it was last tarmacked in Roman times. Like, yeah, it's, it's just, need a more specialist bike. We didn't come to do this climb. We heard about it and thought, oh, let's go check it out. And that's why I don't have a bike that's, oh, it's, oh I'm gonna try more. Hang on, let's see if we can go again. about halfway up and this beggar's belief but they're building a house here there's a house there and there's a house there can you imagine if this was your commute home <laughs> tough, day, tough day at the, the office it's all right I'll get the old commuter out with the panniers on it and just uh... I bet the land was cheap can't think why Can't you film the bits where I pedal? I mean, I'm rubbish, but I'm not this rubbish. What is the gradient here? 27. 27. I'll tell you what, this is a... It's a cleat killer, this one. <laughs> trying to look where I can get start going again. Oh, more f***ing cobbles. Struggling for traction on a lot of this now. Under the trees, it's quite, there's lots of leaf litter on the roads. My back wheel keeps spinning, which is not what you want. So, we're like, 7K in now, and again, it's just another 25% sustained wall. It's been like this for like about a kilometer and a half. And to put this in perspective, Scanupi is 7K long, well, 7.4. So Scanupia would be done now. But this, three more kilometers of this, Look at this bit. So I'm gonna try and get going again here. I mean, also how ridiculously hard this climb is. We've got the GCN camera crew and they're on e-bikes because you can't take motorbikes or cars up here. It's just too difficult. And their e-bike batteries are running out even though they were full and we've only gone 7K. Having done some further research, the stats I mentioned at the start of the video might have been a bit off. Other sources say that this climb is 10 kilometers at 18% average, with four and a half kilometers at 22.8%. Absolutely savage. The final kilometer isn't as steep as what preceded it, but you're not out of the woods. What it lacks in gradient, it more than makes up for with slippery cobbles. Uh, 
That's the sign. Oh my God. That is, that is without doubt the hardest climb uh, I've done. So not as steep in like absolute max gradient as Canopia, but so much longer in that like middle section on this that's like four and a half kilometers at 22%. There's like sustained walls at over 30% on that. And it, it's just unrelenting in that, in that middle section. It, yeah, it's like nothing else. And I think, oh, I'm kind of a bit lost for words here. I, I want to come back here and do this again on a bike that is far more suited to the task. So, I've got an idea, right? If you've enjoyed this and you want to see us come back, then give this video a like, because if we get 10,000 likes, then I'll bring Feather back in. But I'll put Feather on his normal road bike and I'll go up it on some kind of adapted bike with far easier gearing, because I think it will be a really good demonstration of how important gearing is. But yeah, hope you've, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this, <laughs> seeing this ridiculous climb. It's, uh, it's very peaceful and stunning up here. But yeah, yeah, give it a like, like I said. Share it with your friends. <sighs> I'll see you in the next one. I've, I'm actually really worried about going down this now. I think I'm going to be walking a lot of the way. <laughs> Bye.